Okay, basically with making a bunch of room, I, I've got to really clear out all these TVs. My nephew had mentioned, I've got probably, oh boy, uh, 19 or something I think he counted. Um, at least the one nephew counted 19. So I said, well, you know, I repaired these projection screen TVs and I have one that I need to, I think it's a blue LED I have to replace. I have that too. So I'm kind of like, I'll probably tear that one down also, um, but I might not. I don't know. I'm back and forth, but I have another projection screen TV I'm probably going to tear down too. That one's already working. Got that one working. Um, but uh, I, I, I wasn't sure what these lenses were like. This uh, Samsung, I forget what it is. I think it's like a 65 inch or something like that. They're going to be the same lenses. This is a Mitsubishi. I think it's a 55 inch. This is a... Um, one of the last of the uh, the old uh, higher voltage uh, bulbs, um, where the others are LED. Actually, the one that's working, I think, might be the older bulb style, now I think about it. These Samsung 2 are the LED style. This one looks like it has the um, uh, point, at least from just visually looking at it in the center. This one looks like it has a point offset. <clears throat> but what kind of motivated me to do this was... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, to, uh, try to save energy. So I get the kilowatt meter. I'm kind of assessing what I'm, um, using for energy. And one of the sources of energy that I use is making tea and boiling water. So cooking. So I don't think I'll cook with these, but I'm curious to see what I can do to make an apparatus to boil water. So my thought is, and I just wanted to record this and get it down was make a blind, because I kind of want to automate this. How can I make this safer? So I'm, I think I'm going to leave the screens. I think it'd be cute having Mitsubishi, Samsung, and then still having the buttons and maybe even use some of the controls to like, how do I really arm it? <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds like weapony or something. Disarm and disarm. But it is kind of dangerous, so you want to have, you know, I want to have controls so I can basically, I was thinking Venetian blinds, like, you know, uh, shutters. Um, or just have uh, like a flat um, flock sheet cloth just, you know, raises up, raises down. Um, so, you know, I can engage and disengage the apparatus. And then probably have some kind of tracking because it's kind of neat. There's like already a little hole there. So, you know, I can have the manual just a threaded rod bolt going through so the shadow disappears. And then probably have something also uh, would be neat for more controls, you know, just to see what can be done um because i think tracking would be really handy so then you don't have to move it over time you just set it and go <clears throat> and then probably having some kind of temperature uh maybe infrared thermometer i don't know exactly what but point it at the focal uh the the you know the target where you're going to have that cast iron hot plate or whatever it's going to be it's going to be heating or maybe it's going to be directly the the kettle or whatever but that focal point so um, can have some kind of cue then to just go ahead and shut to the blinds or the shutter. Um, but yeah, I want to get that down. It's kind of a little long-winded. Three minutes, maybe I'll just do a real brief quick. Have the Samsung offset Fresnel lens. Mitsubishi, it's more of a centered Fresnel lens. I think it's a focal point. I don't think they're linear. And I just want to document. I think I'm going to leave the frames. Probably get rid of the aluminum. I don't like how the corners are. And then just put like... Um, uh, wooden frame inside to fit. Um, I think it'll look a little uh, fancier having the, the the button to engage and disengage. So I have like a manual control, have the um, completely analog like uh, bolts for aligning um, where basically there's no shadow. And then I can have, you know, there's already the holes present for other sensors I can put have like an infrared thermometer that I can focus on the focal point of the cast iron hot plate or whatever it is, maybe um, so or Vanta or Black 3.0, some kind of, you know, coated surface or pan that'll be the, um, for boiling water, because the goal is going to be boiling water for tea or maybe for cooking soup or something else. Um, so we want to document that, and that's another project I'm going to start moving forward with. I have four projection screen TVs I've repaired. I kind of feel bad. Um, I'll probably donate the parts 
to the uh, Goodwill for uh, repairing electronics. They've got a place up in Muskegon um, where they're doing that. And uh, I've got two other TVs. The one needs LED. I've got the blue LED to replace, but I'm also going to might tear it down. If this one works out well, and then I have another, I forget who the make and model is, flat projection screen that's um, a lighter version, one of the later um, non-LED versions. And I'll probably disassemble that and get the Fresnel lens out and make a frame and see. But first I want to see how these do, because um, I'm thinking I might even invest in one of those $139 parabolic, I think they're about five foot diameter, a meter or something, parabolic reflectors to cook with, or make one myself, because I do have a bunch of satellite dishes, but I think I want to leave those for comms. But I am kind of wondering, I want to try some of that like ultra white, the barium sulfate with the range of particle sizes that are optimized to have like the 98% reflectance um and, and good outdoor I, I think it has good outdoor characteristics i don't know i don't know how well it's going to clean and whatnot if it needs a little coating to might lower the quality a little bit but if that uh with a better coating lasts longer than say mylar or luminized material then maybe maybe that would be a way to go also but i'm going to try with the fresnel lenses for boiling water and see if i can save a little money on uh not using the stove all right stay healthy be safe and until next time in Christ, and Christ be with you.